Officers in some of New Mexico's most high-profile cases of alleged misconduct learned today whether they would be allowed to continue working in the state as certified law enforcement officers. News 13's Stephanie Chavez has that story. You may remember Ty Chan. This is the longest running murder case in New Mexico up until today. The Santa Fe Sheriff's deputy was charged with murdering fellow deputy Jeremy Martin in a Las Cruces hotel back in 2014. But mistrial after mistrial, Chan was never convicted and the charges were dropped. Time to put this all behind us and move on. This morning, during a law enforcement academy meeting, the board voted to accept the relinquishment of Chan's certification, meaning he can no longer serve as an officer in any jurisdiction in the state. Another familiar case that came up, former BCSO Sergeant David Primazon. The board revoked his certification in the meeting. He was convicted of aggravated battery for kicking a suspected car thief in the head back in 2018. The county paid $300,000 to settle that lawsuit, and Primazon quit before being fired. He's not a sergeant anymore. He's not a deputy anymore. A life's work essentially gone in an instant. That is significant, and it's life-altering. There is an aspect of country to that that, uh, that I don't think I can ignore. The board also looked at the case of Stephanie Carbajal. They suspended her law enforcement certification for three years after the Las Cruces police officer was charged with a DWI back in 2019. Here we come. Carbajal was fired after being spotted on the highway, passed out in her truck, but she was never convicted. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. The LEA did not make a decision about Keith Sandy's law enforcement certification, saying it will continue to investigate. He was one of the Albuquerque police officers charged with the murder of James Boyd back in 2014. He was not convicted. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.